From aged college campuses whose many halls are roamed by the chilling ghostly manifestations of their former students, to nearly ancient gatehouses where it's rumored centuries of restless spirits still linger. Are you sure you're ready to brave my picks for some of the most haunted places in the United States' oldest city of St. Augustine, Florida? Number 5. The St. Francis Inn Bed and Breakfast the St. Francis Inn Bed and Breakfast, located in St. Augustine, Florida, is a historic inn that has been in operation since the late 19th century. Historically, the St. Francis traces its roots back to 1791 when the original building on the property was constructed. Over the years, this inn has undergone several expansions and renovations reflecting the changing architectural styles and needs of its time. The current main building of the inn was constructed in 1895 as a boarding house for Henry M. Flagler's employees working on the construction of the nearby Ponce de Leon Hotel, now Flagler College. Eventually, it was transformed into a bed and breakfast establishment in the early 20th century and has been operating as the St. Francis Inn since the 1980s. The St. Francis Inn is known for its charming Victorian architecture and offers guests a glimpse into the historical ambiance of St. Augustine, all while providing comfortable accommodations, modern amenities, and a welcoming atmosphere for visitors from far and wide. One of the most commonly reported paranormal encounters at the St. Francis involves the spectral apparition of a lady dressed in a white Victorian-era gown, with witnesses claiming to have observed her wandering the hallways or standing near the windows, and some believing that she may be the spirit of a former resident or guest. Both visitors and staff members have also reported hearing unexplained noises throughout the inn, such as footsteps, whispers, and doors opening and closing on their own. And some individuals have claimed to have witnessed objects moving or being displaced without any logical explanation, including items falling off shelves, doors swinging open or shut spontaneously, and furniture rearranging itself in under impossible timeframes. Several guests have experienced sudden drops in temperature or encountered localized cold spots within certain areas of the inn. Many have reported feeling an eerie presence or a sensation of being watched while staying on site, and some have also claimed to have seen transparent figures or shadowy apparitions in their rooms or in common areas, usually after dark. Number 4. Flagler College the aforementioned Flagler College, located in St. Augustine, Florida, is a prominent institution of higher learning boasting a rich past as a historic hotel turned educational venue. Historically, Flagler was originally known as the Ponce de Leon Hotel, a luxurious resort built under Henry Flagler in the late 19th century. Construction on the hotel began in 1885 and was completed by 1888. Notably, the Ponce de Leon Hotel was a grand display of Spanish Renaissance Revival architecture and featured lavish amenities. The hotel was one of Flagler's many contributions to the development of Florida's eastern coastline and played a significant role in the growth of St. Augustine as a tourist destination, serving as a winter retreat for the wealthy elite while offering opulent accommodations, gourmet dining, and recreational activities. In 1968, the Ponce de Leon Hotel was sold to Flagler College and underwent extensive renovations to transform it into an institution of higher education that we know in the present. Today, Flagler College is a private liberal arts college recognized for its academic programs, beautiful campus, and historical significance. According to legends, the spirit of Henry Flagler, the founder of the Ponce de Leon Hotel and a prominent figure in Florida's history, is said to wander the halls of Flagler College, with reports suggesting that his apparition has been sighted in various locations, particularly right near the college's main entrance. The Rotunda, a central gathering area within the Ponce de Leon Hotel building, has also been the subject of alleged paranormal activity. And there, witnesses have claimed to have seen apparitions or felt a supernatural presence about, with some reporting hearing disembodied voices or experiencing inexplicable cold spots. Additionally, in the former music room of the Ponce de Leon Hotel, which is now known as the Flagler Room, there have been claims of the hearing of piano music late into the night, when the room is completely empty, a phenomenon that remains unexplained. If you're interested in exploring the legends and stories surrounding the alleged hauntings at Flagler, you may want to participate in one of its many ghost tours or speak with students, staff, or local residents who may have first-hand accounts to share. Number 3. Castle Warden 
Castle Warden, also known as the Old Jail, is a historic structure located in St. Augustine, Florida that boasts a fascinating history and is also rather infamous for its alleged hauntings. Historically, Castle Warden was constructed in 1891 and served as the St. John's County Jail until 1953. This Richardsonian Romanesque-style building was designed by architect Henry Flagler's firm, Carrere and Hastings, and replaced the previous jail, which was destroyed during the Civil War. Castle Warden was designed to house both the sheriff's family and prisoners, featuring separate living spaces for each, with the sheriff's quarters located on its upper floor and the cells and various facilities for inmates situated on ground level. After the closure of the jail, Castle Warden underwent renovations and reopened as a museum in the 1980s and now offers guided tours to visitors, providing a glimpse into the history of the jail and its inhabitants. Notoriously, Castle Warden has gained a reputation as one of the most haunted locations in St. Augustine, with numerous visitors and paranormal enthusiasts reporting various ghostly encounters and eerie experiences across its bounds. Many claim to sense the residual energy or presence of former inmates who suffered and died within the jail, or the feeling of a heavy, oppressive atmosphere and a sense of despair or unease while exploring the cells and corridors. Witnesses have also reported sighting full-bodied apparitions and shadowy figures moving about that are often described as transparent or fleeting, appearing in different areas of the building. Electronic voice phenomena, or EVP in recordings and disembodied voices have been captured by paranormal investigators and visitors to Castle Warden, and some believe these vocals belong to the spirits of former inmates not yet ready to move on. Additionally, many have described encountering sudden drops in temperature and experiencing sensations of being touched or brushed up against by unseen presences, with cold spots often associated with supernatural infestations. Lastly, some have reported disembodied commotions such as footsteps, slamming doors, and rattling chains, while others have claimed to hear the sound of cell doors closing on their own as if operated by an unseen force. Number 2. The Old City Gates the Old City Gates in St. Augustine, Florida is a notable landmark toting a fascinating history steeped in legends and tales of chilling hauntings. Historically speaking, the Old City Gates are the remnants of the original entrance to the walled city of St. Augustine, which was founded by the Spanish in 1565. These gates were constructed in the late 18th century as part of the city's defensive fortifications and consisted of a wooden drawbridge and a pair of coquina stone pillars supporting a wooden gate. Notably, these gates were an essential component of the city's defense, protecting it from a potential invasion and serving as a symbolic entrance to St. Augustine. And over time, the wooden structure was replaced with a more durable material, while the gates continued to stand as a significant historical landmark. In the early 19th century, the city walls were dismantled due to changes in warfare strategies and the need for expansion. However, the old city gates remained intact as a lasting reminder of the locale's rich history and heritage. As previously mentioned, the old city gates of St. Augustine have gained a reputation for being haunted, with numerous reports of associated paranormal encounters and supernatural phenomena. According to local legends, the ghost of Juan Ponce de Leon, the Spanish explorer who is believed to have searched for the Fountain of Youth in Florida, is said to haunt the old city gates, with witnesses claiming to have spied an ethereal figure resembling Ponce de Leon wandering near the gates or on adjacent streets. Visitors and residents have also reported hearing strange sounds near the gates, including footsteps, whispers, and unexplained noises, and some have even described hearing the sound of ghostly horses and carriages passing through the gates late at night. Additionally, there have been sightings of shadowy figures or of ghostly apparitions in the vicinity of the old gates, with witnesses often telling of spying figures dressed in old-fashioned clothing or of catching glimpses of transparent forms passing by. Some have described experiencing sudden drops in temperature and intense feelings of unease or those of being watched while in the presence of the gates, sensations that are often associated with supernatural activity. On a closing note, these alleged hauntings have only further contributed to the old city gates becoming a popular spot for ghost hunters and paranormal enthusiasts visiting the awe-inspiring city of St. Augustine. Number 1. Talamato Cemetery Talamato Cemetery, located in St. Augustine, Florida, is an ancient burial ground with a rich history and a widespread reputation for its ghastly hauntings. 
Historically, Talamato dates back to the 18th century, with the cemetery first established in 1777 to serve as a burial ground for the parishioners of the nearby Talamato Catholic Church, which was originally built by the Spanish in 1791, and both this church and cemetery were integral parts of St. Augie's budding Catholic community. During the British occupation of Florida, the cemetery fell into disrepair. However, in the mid-19th century, it was restored by the Catholic Diocese of St. Augustine, and today it stands as a testament to the city's colonial past and generations of individuals laid to rest within its bounds. Talamato Cemetery is known for its unique blend of architectural styles, including Spanish, British, and American influences. Its graves encompass a variety of markers, from simple wooden crosses to elaborate headstones, reflecting the diverse cultural and religious backgrounds of those interred. Infamously, Talamato Cemetery has gained a reputation for being haunted, with numerous reports of otherworldly encounters and unexplained phenomena documented across its grounds. Some visitors to the cemetery have reported spying ghostly figures wandering amongst its markers that are often described as transparent or mist-like and that are believed to be the spirits of the deceased. Electronic voice phenomena recordings and disembodied voices have also been captured by paranormal investigators and visitors within the cemetery, with these voices often described as indistinct or whispering and believed to be the voices of the departed. Some individuals have reported experiencing sudden drops in temperature or encountering cold spots within specific areas of the cemetery. And additionally, visitors have described feeling an eerie presence, the sensation of being watched, or experiencing a sense of unease while walking through its grounds. Orbs and other light anomalies, often captured in photographs, have also been attributed to supernatural activity within Talamato, and are thought to be linked to either spiritual or strong past emotional energy manifesting visually. Additionally, witnesses have reported encountering unusual odors, such as the scent of flowers or incense without any discernible source. On a closing note, visiting Talamato Cemetery during daylight hours is permitted, but guests should be respectful and adhere to any posted guidelines or restrictions, while keeping in mind that it is a sacred burial ground and as such should be treated with the utmost respect. Taking its extensive and varied history into account, and coupling it with such an impressive slew of purported supernatural infestations and associated tales of terror, I felt Talamato Cemetery was a perfect choice as the most haunted place in St. Augustine. Thanks for joining me for my picks for some of the most haunted places in St. Augustine, Florida. If you enjoyed hearing my histories and ghost stories, subscribe to my channel, like this upload, and share me with anyone you feel could use a good scare. I'll catch you next time.